about five minutes or so here, and then we'll, the whole idea of the thing is to have a, a photo up for the, for the media. Obviously, we're here to uh, media launch the Cops for Kids initiative. It's next Friday, if you haven't got your ticket, in the right venue. But it's an initiative, uh, obviously, Cops for Kids, in aid of uh, St. John's Ward and Our Lady's Hospital in Crumlin, and organised uh, by primarily a team from the Special Detective Unit, but I should say supported by the Garda Chicana far and wide, right, right from the Commissioner down. I mean, the same number, you know, the 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 uh, we've immediately launched today, we launched the initiative uh, uh, properly, if you like, uh, or officially before Christmas there with Katie Taylor, and we're very glad that she uh, took time out of her, of her, of her schedule to join us herself and her dad in, in, in the hospital for a good number of hours and, and we're, we're really, um, really uh, grateful for that. The event is organised for the benefit of St John's Ward and Our Lady's Hospital as I said and uh, there's loads of worthwhile charities I suppose out there and it could have been organised for any one of hundreds of them but I suppose for those of you who don't know there's a personal aspect to St John's Ward in, in Crumlin and the Special Detective Unit with two of our lads uh, have, have their little fellas out there getting treatment and I know um, there's plenty of people inside in, in STU particularly who are more than well aware of the work that, uh, that they do in John's Ward uh, not only for, for Eddie and Connor but for the hundreds of kids that go in and out of there uh, every year so uh, I think we're delighted uh, that John's Ward is the, is the recipient of, of the um, or the beneficiaries of the event. And we're absolutely delighted, and I know on behalf of, of, of Darren, Darren Conlon and the rest of the organising committee, absolutely delighted with the four people uh, who, when approached, uh, stepped forward and said absolutely uh, no problem. Uh, obviously Shane Bourne, former uh, uh, Irish uh, Leinster and, and, and Lion rugby player, uh, with Conor Gleeson, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Tipperary and then we have two of our own people, two guards, Jamie O'Neill and Michael Cousins from, from um, Roscommon and Cork respectively. So we're delighted uh, that, that they've, they've put themselves forward to get a smack in. Uh, and I'm not sure, you're, you're okay because they're, they're, they're fighting each other, but I'm, I'm not sure who you guys are fighting. Who is it there? Who's? Are we opening a book on it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to bring us down pitch side and everyone smile and get your gloves and headgear or whatever you want time because you're all going to these photographs, okay? Darren Conlon, thanks. We're in Crow Park. It's the press uh, day, four days before the fight. What numbers have you raised for St. John's Ward? We're up at 70,000 euros. That's ring fence, real money that's going direct to the kids at St. John's Ward. Okay, now the numbers on the night in terms of the attendance, what kind of figures do you have in your mind? It's sold out. We just can't get a ticket. My phone is going constantly. We definitely have 1,600 tickets sold, gone. So I'm expecting a full house there.
two, three. Three, two,